Artificial intelligence. Done deal. But you're thinking, I don't feel like it's AI. Where's my household robot made therapist who plays tennis and feeds me grapes? Ah, that would be AGI, artificial general intelligence. Before I define that, let me define the extreme, ASI, artificial super intelligence. Its definition is anything we can do, it can do better. Sounds like a brand. This is your sci-fi Borg god running the planet powered by a computronium megastructure built around the sun. But ASI is simply defined as it can do anything and everything we can do, but better. So the in-between is AGI, which means AI that can do anything and everything we can do, full stop. Not better, not even necessarily as good as, just that it can do anything we can do. It's general purpose. Hand it a broom, show it how to sweep, and it can learn the ropes. Put that same bot in a car and it can learn to drive. To get general, we need to package the disciplines together. NLP perception, planning, knowledge representation, all driven by learning, shoved into a robot body, a walking, talking, seeing, thinking robot that can generally do everything, not necessarily well. We're closer than you think. You're going to start hearing that term a lot in the media, AGI. And when AI can improve itself, the pace towards that goal will accelerate exponentially. They call this the singularity. So intelligence, programs and apps gave us achieve goals. Good old fashioned AI gave us under uncertain conditions. And machine learning gave us acquire and apply knowledge. And deep learning with neural networks put ML on steroids. We have AI, we're close to AGI, and then someday ASI? To get the deep dive, listen to my podcast, Machine Learning Guide at ocdevel.com forward slash MLG. It's an audio course in podcast form that teaches machine learning. If you're non-technical, you can stop before it gets into the weeds. There's plenty of just for fun episodes.